Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And if you have an air conditioner in your RV, which is like mine, which is this type of air conditioner here, then in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix what may be a common problem. If you turn your air conditioner on, and if instead of hearing a smooth running motor, what you instead hear is some loud clacking noises. <laughs> so you want to immediately turn your air conditioner off. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem without anyone's help, other than buying a part that has broken, causing this problem. Assuming that what happens to yours is the same thing that happens to mine, which I'm thinking most likely it is. Now I have the Coleman Mach low profile air conditioner, which is very, very common, even in various brands of air conditioners. So I'm gonna go up to the roof now and show you what the problem is. Now first, you need to know the difference between a low profile and a high profile air conditioner. This guy has a high profile air conditioner, which is a few inches taller than a low profile air conditioner which is the one that I have. This is my rear air conditioner that's not the one that broke. This is the one that broke and what broke is this thing that is called a squirrel cage fan. This is the new one and this is the old one. So you can see those blades that broke off of there and here are the blades now I don't know really how common this is that these blades could just break off like that in fact it really seems very very strange that those braid blades would break off <laughs> but somehow that is what happened so let me show you how to fix it and first, you need to get a new one of these. So you can get them from any RV dealer, pretty much. Although, they're probably not going to have any in stock. So you're going to have to order one and wait for it to get shipped in. The good news is it's fairly easy to fix. So when you take the outside cover off, which is that, then you're going to see this cover on it. And that's easy to get off with just taking off bolts and nuts. So you remove that and then you'll see this cover here which easily slips off. And on each side of the squirrel cage is one of these circular protectors. That one doesn't come all the way off, it stays on there. This one is the one you want to pull off not on this side but on that side the one that actually comes off you want to pull that off and then you go into this side and you will see a screw right there you just unscrew that and then it easily slips off so you take the broken one off throw it in the garbage and put the new one on put that screw back on and it may be a bit of a challenge getting that screw back on, but it's not too hard. And by the way, when you're trying to rest your hands or arms, try not to touch these because they get bent like this out of shape. That's not going to hurt much, but if you bend a lot of these, then it reduces the effectiveness of that radiator or whatever you call it. Because these pieces bend very easily from the touch. Then you just slip this piece back on and then you put this piece back on which just sits there once you get it in place. Then you put this back on and bolt that down and then you put the cover on and screw that back on. And then you should be back in business with a normal operating 
air conditioner. Now I'm making this video because it took me some experimenting <laughs> to figure out how to replace that part. To get all the parts off I needed, remove the old one, and get the parts back on. Took a little doing. In fact, I had to have someone help me a bit. And since I'm here at the Winnebago Grand National Rally, I did find a friend to help me figure out just exactly what to do. So now by watching this video, you should know when this happens to you. And don't be surprised at some point, someday, you turn your air conditioner on and you hear a loud flapping noise going on instead of what you normally hear. Good day, folks.